right, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is going to be a little short video on saving files. I had a somebody put on Facebook that the their X8, so I'm using X8, doesn't work. And as you can see, there's save and save as. We're going to, you can't really save this because you haven't named it. So it's actually like save as. So we're going to call it save test. Save. Now, if you don't change the file or move anything, and when you go to file, the save is gone. It's you can't use it. Now you can always save as because you could always name it another name. So she was they were saying they were having problems with both. I don't really see that. If it's not working up here, you can always go control shift change. So let's go control shift. Well, I never use it. Let's see. It's Control Shift S for save. That makes sense. And that brings you up, and you could save it as save test. And they ask you if you want to replace it. Yes. So you can't. But save as should always be there. If you don't have that, you might have a problem. But the save is un. It's not uh, highlighted, or it's washed out because you haven't changed anything. Now, if we take this save and make it smaller and put it to the center of the page, now the save is back because we have changed the file. And you could always use Control S if this is, if there's something wrong with your Corel program, which I really don't think so on that. But a lot of times I used to do that and I would try to go save it when I was out in the shop and it wouldn't, wouldn't save or wouldn't have that up there. Because I hadn't done anything. You know, I'd maybe gone to another file and they came back to it. And I go, well, I, I moved it. So that's why it says it'll save. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.